Mignad Jagdishchandra Desai, Baron Desai born the 10th of July 1940, is a British economist and Labour politician. He stood unsuccessfully for the position of Lord Speaker in the British House of Lords in 2011, the first ever non-UK-born candidate to do so. He has been awarded the Padma Bhushan, the third highest civilian award in the Republic of India, in 2008. Early life Born in Vadodara, Gujarat, India, Desai grew up with two brothers and one sister. He is said to have gone to secondary school at age 7 and matriculated at 14. He secured a bachelor's degree in economics from Ramnarain Ruia College and then pursued a master's degree in economics from the University of Mumbai, after which he won a scholarship to University of Pennsylvania in August 1960. He completed his Ph.D. in economics at Pennsylvania in 1963. <laughs> <laughs> Academic career Currently, he is chairman of the Official Monetary and Financial Institutions Forum Advisory Board, an independent membership-driven research network. It focuses on global policy and investment themes for off-the-record public and private sector engagement and analysis. Previously, he has worked as an associate specialist in the Department of Agricultural Economics, University of California, Berkeley, California. He then became a lecturer at the London School of Economics in 1965. At the LSE, he taught econometrics, macroeconomics, Marxian economics and development economics over the years. He wrote his first book Marxian Economic Theory in 1973 followed by Applied Econometrics in 1976 and Marxian Economics, a revised edition of his 1973 book in 1979. He wrote Testing Monetarism, a Critique of Monetarism, in 1981. In the 1970s, he taught an idiosyncratic version of economic principles to freshers at the LSE starting with Piero Sraffa. Desai has written extensively publishing over 200 articles in academic journals and had a regular column in the British Radical Weekly Tribune during 1985-1994, in the Indian Business Daily Business Standard 1995-2001 and in Indian Express and Financial Express. From 1984 to 1991, he was co-editor of the Journal of Applied Econometrics. A selection of his academic papers was published in two volumes as the Selected Essays of Mignad Desai in 1995. He has been active in the British Labour Party, becoming chairman between 1986 and 1992, and was made honorary lifetime and president of Islington South and Finsbury Constituency Labour Party in London. He was made a life peer as Baron Desai, of St. Clement Danes in the city of Westminster, in April 1991. In 2002, Desai's book Marx's Revenge, The Resurgence of Capitalism and the Death of Statist Socialism stated that globalization would tend toward the revival of socialism. He published a biography of Indian film star Dilip Kumar entitled Nehru's Hero, Dilip Kumar in the Life of India Roli, 2004. He has described the book as his greatest achievement." Examining Kumar's films, some of which Desai has seen more than 15 times, he discovers parallels between the socio-political arena in India and its reflection on screen. He discusses issues as varied as censorship, the iconic values of Indian machismo, cultural identity and secularism, and analyses how the films portrayed a changing India at that time. In 2003, he retired as director of the Centre for the Study of Global Governance, which he founded in 1992 at the London School of Economics LSE, where he is now Professor Emeritus. He was chairman of the Trustees Board for Training for Life, chairman of the Management Board of City Roads and on the board of Tribune magazine. Lord Desai was also a founding member of the Development Studies Institute at the LSE in 1990. Desai retired from the LSE in 2003. Since then he has published Rethinking Islamism, Ideology of the New Terror 2006, The Root to All Evil, The Political Economy of Ezra Pound 2007, A Novel Dead on Time 2009, and The Rediscovery of India 2009. Lord Desai serves as the founder chairman of the Mignad Desai Academy of Economics in Mumbai MDAE. MDAE offers a one-year postgraduate diploma in economics, offered jointly with Department of Economics, Autonomous, University of Mumbai. 
MDAE focuses on applied learning and case studies rather than on rote learning. Students will participate in workshops and seminars with top economics and finance professionals from around the world. Topic: <laughs> Saif Al Gaddafi thesis. In 2007 Desai was asked by the University of London to serve with Tony McGrew of the University of Southampton as one of the two examiners of the PhD thesis of Saif al-Islam Gaddafi, the son of the then leader of Libya. They did not immediately accept the thesis, as it was found to be weak. The candidate was subjected to an oral examination for two and a half hours and Gaddafi was asked to revise and resubmit it. The revised version was subsequently accepted. As Desai had already retired from the LSE he had no involvement with the donation from Saif Gaddafi's charity to the LSE. Learning from the press of these links between LSE and Libya, Desai demanded that the money be returned to the people of Libya. He expressed disappointment at a speech Saif Gaddafi subsequently made on Libyan state television declaring the Gaddafi family's willingness to fight to the last bullet, observing that he was not behaving as if he had had an LSE education. Lord Mignad Desai is chairman of the Official Monetary and Financial Institutions Forum OMFIF Advisory Board, an independent financial think tank which serves as a neutral, non-lobbying platform for exchanges among official institutions and private sector counterparties worldwide. <laughs> Personal life In 1970, he married his LSE colleague Gail Wilson, his first wife. She was the daughter of George Ambler Wilson, CBE. They had three children. During the course of writing Nehru's Hero, he met Kishwar Aluwalia, now Kishwar Desai, his second wife who worked as an editor for this book. On 20 July 2004 the couple married. Desai and 47-year-old Aluwalia were both divorcees and married at a registrar's office in London. Desai is an atheist. He is an honorary associate of the National Secular Society. Topic works 1975, The Phillips Curve, A Revisionist Interpretation. Economica, February 1975. 1980, The Keynesian Theory of Investment, A Critique and a Reformulation, AUTE Conference, Durham, 1980. 1994, Equilibrium, Expectations and Knowledge, in J. Berner and R. Van Zijp, Hayek, Coordination and Evolution, His Legacy in Philosophy, Politics, Economics, and the History of Ideas, Routledge 1994. 2004 Nehru's Hero, Dilip Kumar in the Life of India, Lotus Collection 2006, The Root of All Evil, The Political Economy of Ezra Pound, Faber and Faber 2009, Dead on Time, Beautiful Books Limited, UK. 2015, Hubris, Why Economists Failed to Predict the Crisis and How to Avoid the Next One. 